Wow. Wow, man. What a season. How how did we get here? I I, I don't even know. It's August 12th. It, it's, it's the end of it all. It's finally over. The 2023 indoor arena football season is over. And, well, multiple things happened in the NAL, and it wasn't just the championship. We have two new teams, the Omaha Beef and the Sioux City Bandits, two legendary teams that have been around over 20 years. Awards were handed out on Friday night. Congrats to those that won them. But, of course, the most important thing is the NAL championship. Well, Jacksonville and Carolina, they came to play. They both came to play. Jacksonville, you know, messed up a little bit early. You know, a couple of bad plays early, a fumble, a bad turnover. You know, just this, it was just awful early on. Carolina was up 31 to 14, but then the Sharks woke up and fought back. And they fought back to a tune of a 40. It's a 14 run. And even though ref ball was rampant on both sides of the ball, making this game over three hours yet again, it ended up being the Jacksonville Sharks lifting up that NAL championship trophy, winning it 54 to 45. And thus the Jacksonville Sharks have won their third NAL championship, their fourth overall, and thus our season is over. Just like that. The storybook is closed on the 2023 season. Now we can really, we can finally focus on the off season. But that's, you know, the off season kind of starts, you know, whenever it wants to start, you know. Once that first championship game, not we're not talking about the NAL championship game. We're talking about, you know, other leagues. Once that, once any other league's championship has gone, you know, final, you know, and usually these are like May, June, you know, early in, before the summer really starts. That's when the offseason nonsense starts for other leagues. So, like, you know, it gets crazy, you know, after May, June, because players could go pretty much anywhere. Teams can just fold up in a blink of an eye and things could go from bad to worse or from good to really good or from bad to good or good to bad in just a blink of an eye. You never know what's going to happen. You know. So the AL ends on a positive note, a very positive note. And for everybody else, the offseason is really just getting started. As we talk about some other things we need to, you know, sink our teeth into, so for IFL players have been, you know, drafted or signed by the XFL. Legal awards have been handed out there as well. Congrats to those who won. Like I said, same thing with the NAL awards. Congrats to those who won. I do not care too much about awards. Massachusetts, their lease with the DCU Center expired. Um, they hardly drew a thousand fans at each game, really, and they kind of need a new home. Did, DC Center just wasn't it. I'm sorry. It, it, I don't know what it was that Massachusetts did to where nobody showed up, but it was all. It always looked like there was barely a thousand people there at the DCU Center. Andre Fields, he's going to be the new head coach out in Sioux Falls. Uh, as far as CIF related things go, Topeka, they have no home as of yet. They will figure out where they will go next week. They will say where they will go next week sometime. So that'll be after, you know, this video. And then Gillette Billings, Stephen Titus has said he's done with the CIF and he's been very vocal about it over the season. You know, this, this wasn't a new thing. He's been very vocal about it. Gillette may move. It depends. Um, I know there was something else. That was related to Billings and Gillette. You know, some some were saying, oh, well, Gillette could be, you know, thrown away and Billings, you know, could, you know, just be the one team tied us own and, and Gillette could move as well. You know, there's other arenas out in Wyoming that could be used. 
So we'll see what happens with the Gillette Mustangs and the Billings Outlaws. Wherever they decide to go, they have my full support. Um, the AIF, a couple things there. Chris McKinney, he is no longer with the Columbus Lions. Um, a couple guys you may know, Dorian Redden, Trey Braid. Um, Dorian, I know from a couple of discords we're in. Trey, I think, manages a couple of YouTube groups. They are going to be a part of the graphic design department. If you haven't seen their work yet, um, you should definitely take a look at it. They make some great stuff, make some great designs, you know, for like championship, uh, you know, related stuff, um, YouTube related stuff. You know, just the graphics are on point. Um, it, it's good stuff. And then AFL 3.0, really the only thing that's kind of worth mentioning right now because there's really not much else to say about the AFL 3.0 is Everett has just, you know, there's an article surfacing um, about the so-called Everett team that and there's just so much going wrong there. Um, again, so much going wrong with the AFL 3.0 in general. Yeah. So that'll do it from here. Uh, next time we come to you talking the arena indoor game will be um, the September the 10th. That'll be a Sunday. Uh, I've got to say, um, for the most part, this has been one hell of a season. I've done a couple of collaborations with a couple of, you know, some good friends and good buddies, you know, that, you know, have been, you know, a great help to not only myself, but to each other over the last three years. And, you know, grateful to have been covering this game for the last three years. And I'm hoping for a good fourth year. Not everything worked out. I wanted to do some interviews. I really wanted to. I just ultimately didn't find the time to make those interviews happen. I really wanted to, though, but it is what it is. Um, I've got several, you know, you know, askings, you know, do you want to be, you know, a part of, you know, you know, this thing or th that thing or such and such thing. And I've always declined because um, I I'm not here for, you know, you know, joining something. I'm my own person. I've always been an individual. I've always worked for myself. Um, but I do want to inspire, I do want to uplift, and I do want to elevate. Um, so that's what my goals that I'm living by for the rest of 2023 as I work to um, um, do something that maybe not everybody in the YouTube community that you know knows you know, that knows me like that, you know, knows that, you know, I'm trying to leave the country. I'm trying to leave the United States. Um, I know this is a weird video to say this on, but I do need you to pay attention. I, there is not a lot of opportunity here, and you know it. It's just not, it's just not feasible to live in America anymore. It's just not feasible. For me to be here, it's it is literally, um, quite literally killing me <laughs> to be here. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I know people, I know people talk to me about you know, you know, my own personal condition. Because um, a lot of you know that I am, you know, um, suffering from a chronic illness. It is. The longer I stay here, the longer it will it will continue to deteriorate my body no matter what I try to do because that's just the way American food is. It's not good for you most of the time. And then there's other things as well, you know, high stress. Um, it's just it's just been a lot to go through. There's been a lot of things that have gone wrong um, personally. To where it's just like I just can't do this here anymore. This isn't. This doesn't feel right to me anymore. And 
you know, I'm figuring out the best way, whatever way is possible for me to get myself out of here. It's, it's just not worth the trouble of staying here and, and being here anymore. Um, I don't feel like thrive or prosper here anymore. It's just not it. It's just not. Um, in any case, um, I'm still going to be here for most of 2024. So don't worry, I'm not leaving yet. I'm, I'm not leaving the country yet. I can't do that yet. I have a lot of work to do, a lot of work to get what I need done. And it's going to be a long year. So the reason why you didn't see a live stream today is because of me working. That's the reason you didn't see a live stream today. I will obviously try and make that up. Um, the date I want to do it is September the 1st. It's like a Friday night. Um, I want to do it then. Maybe Labor Day. I don't know. But um, there are live streams coming. I, I do... I do still want to try and do the live blogs thing, but ultimately, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. It depends on how I'm feeling. It depends on, you know, a lot of certain factors to where it all goes. So again, if you made it past me talking about, you know, all the arena indoor football stuff, and you're here for the, you know, for the personal explanation to a lot of things, stick around. There's more to come. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to. If you haven't liked yet, you haven't liked this video yet, you need to. If you haven't shared this video yet on whatever platform you may use, do that. If you if you just haven't if you haven't done any of those things, then you need to. Um, and the thing I said earlier, inspire, uplift, elevate. Those are the things I want you to do. To help this channel grow because again you two lowered their standards to where we can we can get the 500 we can get me monetized I barely earned a profit from youtube so i earned three dollars one time and then it, it easily got taken away so i've done several other things i've tried several other things to get me some dinero and ultimately Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, I don't want to make this too much longer. So what I'll say is, is love each and every one of you. And I hope I will see you tomorrow um, to talk a lot of lacrosse. There's a lot of lacrosse that I need to talk about. PLL, NLL. Uh, the, uh, the Man Cup is getting close to the set. The Mento is set. And then I think we need to talk about Athletes Unlimited too. Um, just in case, because uh, I think the champ, I think somebody will be named champion tomorrow because Athletes Unlimited ends tomorrow, so somebody will be named champion of that league. So, in any case, I will see you all tomorrow. If you listen to the personal piece of information that I've you know talked about for like five or six minutes, I encourage you to listen to that, and I encourage you to again inspire uplift, elevate, not just me, but yourselves and this channel. Thank y'all, and I'll see y'all tomorrow sometime. I don't know when tomorrow, but you'll see me tomorrow talking lacrosse. Take care, and yeah, have a good night. Congratulations to the Jacksonville Sharks.